not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your family. You should, 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 should. In 2020, across the world, friends and families were torn apart. Communities left fractured by an invisible enemy. But this is a story about coming together, about an adventure designed to beat the separation and loneliness. One community, no longer bound by convention, but by a shared passion, set out on a journey. And together, during the global lockdown, they were set free. Welcome to film my run for the Centurion Running One Community Event, or CROC as it's known. And uh, Victoria's running the Beachy Head Marathon today. And that's just the start of my adventure. Hopefully, I can run a little bit further. Beautiful day on the South Downs. We've started the Beachy Head Marathon at the Bo Peep car park, which is kind of halfway round and then we'll kind of do the whole loop and come back. Centurion's one community event attracted some 4,000 runners and walkers from all over the world. Distances from 5k to 100 miles could be completed over a week either at home on a treadmill or outdoors on road or trail. We're heading down into the village of Lillington and then we are going to be going all the way through this wooded area here to West Dean and then through to Exiat and then up the hills over there where the sea is to start climbing the Seven Sisters. The village is actually called Littlington and that wooded area I mentioned is Friston Forest. It's also debatable whether it's pronounced Exiat or Exid. Regardless, the Cookmere Valley is stunning and we continue to run on to the Seven Sisters Hills and headed towards the Beltu Lighthouse before reaching Beachy Head itself. is the Beachy Head Lighthouse because the route is a little bit inland. So uh, there's Beachy Head Lighthouse. So here we are coming to the finish and start line of the Beachy Head Marathon which is kind of just about here. Uh, when you do the South Downs Way 100 or the 50 you get to this trig point here you take a left and you go down to Eastbourne Sports Park where you finish the race. Uh, we have come along the other section of the bridleway, the South Downs Road bridleway. So we started at the foot of Beachy Head, followed the bridleway and now we're going to head all the way to Worthing, to Hillbarn in Worthing, to the start of the South Downs Way 50. So essentially we are now running the South Downs Way 50 in reverse as well as finishing off the Beachy Head Marathon and starting the Three Forts Marathon. So, uh... Well known to any South Downs Way runner, any Beachy Head Marathon runner, this is the famous White Bridge at Alfriston. Okay, so Victoria has done her Centurion Running One Community Marathon, Beachy Head Marathon from Bo Peep car park all the way around. So now I'm going to carry on along the South Downs Way and uh, get myself to Worthing. Given that this was a Centurion organised event, it seemed appropriate to be running on such a well-known and well-loved Centurion course. Really 
classic, but I always do around 35 miles and it often lasts until 60 miles when I usually throw up. So the plan with this Centurion Running One community event is uh, to run 100 miles and uh, we've already done, Victoria and I did the Beachy Head Marathon this morning so that was 26 miles. So then I plan to run to Devil's Dyke and from there we start the Three Forts Marathon. So I'll run the Three Forts Marathon, I'm going to do all of the Stenning Stinger Marathon and then I'm going to run back out to Devil's Dyke just to finish off the Three Forts Marathon. And hopefully by mid-morning, tomorrow morning, we'll have done um, over 100 miles. If that makes any sense, I hope it does because it doesn't make any to me. And as I ran, I could sense 4,000 other runners across the world overcoming their own challenges right beside me. Stunning. It's 20 to 6 in the evening and our next port of call is Ditchling Beacon which is just about half a kilometre further on. food and uh, some drink. I've thrown up everywhere which has been great. 78 kilometres in so almost halfway um, and uh, we're off now to Chanctonbury so right from here all the way to Chanctonbury and then all the way down round Sisbury down to Hill Barn where I'm going to meet Victoria again. Having completed the Beachy Head Marathon and two-thirds of the South Downs Way 50 part of me felt like calling it a day right there. But with a big push from my wife, I headed into the night to start the Three Forts Challenge. So named because it links the three ancient hill forts of Devil's Dyke, Chanctonbury and Sisbury Ring. So I've done 104 kilometres, well just over 104 kilometres. It's now, uh, what time is it? About 10 past midnight and I'm at Hill Barn, so I've now um, officially finished the South Downs Way 50 in reverse and I've finished the first half of the Three Forts Marathon. So I'm now going to start the second half of the Three Forts Marathon but I'm not going to do all of that because halfway through that I'm going to break off and do the whole of the Stenning Stinger Marathon and then I'm going to finish off the Three Forts Marathon by running out back to Devil's Dyke. Okay, so I'm standing in the middle of the road, but it is half past two in the morning. Um, so I've just come to the start location, the start finish area for the Stenning Stinger Marathon. So that behind me there is a Stenning Leisure Centre. This is the start finish of the Stenning Stinger. So now just heading back out and going out to follow the loop around and come back. <sighs> um, it's 2.36 in the morning. I've done 116.7 kilometers, 20 hours, eight minutes. Let's get going and uh, get around this stenning loop. It's quarter past four in the morning. Um, I've done 125 kilometres. This is the top of, well, it's almost the top of one of the major climbs of the Stenning Stinger Marathon. And uh, what an amazing view of the, the early morning sunrise, very early morning sunrise. It's 
So if you look at the map of the Stenning Stinger route, the whole route kind of looks like a, an old man stooped over with a very large pointy nose. And the point of that nose is here. So this is where we turn around and follow this path. And now we're on our way back. This is the furthest out point we get. We're on our way back towards Chanctonbury and Sisbury. Making it through the night always feels good. I had been struggling, but sunrise gave me new strength in my legs and the knowledge that the finish was within reach. Stenning Stinger, Three Forts and Beachy Head are all significant challenges in their own right. Linking them together had seemed like a perfect plan, but the reality of these things is often far less glamorous. Everything hurt by now, but it's supposed to. That's why we do it. That's why we love it. Right, 18 minutes past seven, 143 kilometres done. I am now off to finish the last little bit of Stenning Stinger, and then we're on our way to Devil's Dyke to finish the Three Forts Marathon. <laughs> Here we are back at the crossroads again. So we've done the Beachy Head Marathon. We've done the South Downs Way 50 in reverse. We've done the Stenning Stinger Marathon. All that's left to do is the final section. Let's head back up to Devil's Dyke. 151 kilometers done, 26 hours and five minutes. Some had spread their run over seven days. Some had completed their first ever 5K, and some had run further or faster than they ever thought possible. Running up the final hill, just for a laugh. And today, we cross our finish line. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, what matters is you're here, and you made it through. One last step, one collective journey. We did it together as one community. Centurion running one community event is over for me anyway 100 miles done we'll leave you here on the beautiful gorgeous Devil's Dyke thanks very much for watching take care we'll see you for another film my run very soon bye bye